it's Christina with a K from Wild 107.5 representing at Paul Mitchell the School Portland in downtown on the corner of Oak and Broadway. I have Nate, one of the instructors, and he's going to show us a fabulous style to get us ready for the summer. Awesome meal here. We're going to be using our Express Ion one inch iron to be able to just do a quick beach wave set to be able to give a much more summery finish to your hair for the season. The sections I'm going to be taking are going to be working in a diagonal back following the round of the head. I only use one clip to do it. I just take a panel coming away from the face, down towards the back of the head, clip everything else behind it out of the way. This makes it easy for any client at home to be able to actually go in and do this themselves. It creates a better range of motion for most people. It's a little bit more comfortable for people doing it on their own. All my curls are coming in towards the face and I'm just wrapping it around the barrel of the iron slightly away from the scalp, not all the way through to the ends, just to make a curl in more of the middle of the actual pattern. I'm just holding the ends in place. Obviously being careful to stay away from the scalp just to make sure that you don't get too hot on yourself. And there's our beautiful new state. pretty much done with our set at this point we're going to be using just a light amount of a new product made by Paul Mitchell which is our Sun Shield conditioning spray I'm going to be spraying a small amount onto my hands and then just polishing the overall style that we created for Camille today I spritzed a small amount into my palms emulsified it really really well and then just take a couple of seconds to break through the set loosen up any work that looks like it could use just a little bit of adjustment go in and twist those ends just to kind of keep a really nice loose feel to how the curl sits. We obviously don't want it to look really, really tight. And now Camille looks absolutely fabulous.